Hey, welcome to Pusher TV. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install our heavy duty two piece hot side charge tube for the 6.7 Power Stroke equipped Ford Super Duties like this one I have behind me. This install is basically gonna cover all of those trucks from 2011 to current, which is early 22 right now. The design really hasn't changed or your install is pretty much identical. A good thing to keep in mind is these videos are intended to give you additional information, things that are easier to represent on camera versus in print but every single one of our parts comes with full color instructions. We have a parts list here on the front that I've already gone through and I've made sure I have all my parts prior to install. And so these are definitely your go-to for all your fine details and the whole step-by-step -step process. But in the video, I'm just gonna show you different angles, different things that are just gonna make your life hopefully easier. So let's get started. So we have our hood open. You can see our hot side charge tube is what we're gonna be replacing is here. This truck already has our cold side upgrade, which is definitely a must for these trucks. All we really need to do is loosen this clamp here and then expand the C-clip down there at the end so that we can pop the two loose and I'll show you how to do that right now. I like to take the coupler completely off the intercooler right away. On the older trucks, the older they get, the more this coupler tends to want to like stick to the intercooler. This truck only has about 8,000 miles on it right now. And so on the older ones, you may need to get a pick or something like this to get under here and help just like separate. You can kind of work your way around the coupler like this and just kind of separate it from the intercooler. This one hasn't actually stuck to the intercooler yet, so it's pretty easy to pull off. So I just pull it off and up like that. Now you can take two flat screwdrivers and you're basically gonna put one there on the C-clip and just leave it in there and one on the other side, just to expand that C-clip up. The thing is, is once you do that, this little dip right here still is in the groove usually. So a lot of times you need to push the tube towards all that and that'll allow that, this guy to come up and out of there and then you can pull it off. So this is a C-clip right here that we're just working on and it has this little plastic retainer that helps hold it open in the factory for assembly and also retains it to the tube. So we need to just pop that guy off you can take a screwdriver and just get it basically between the retainer and the tube. Just gotta do both sides. And that allows you to take your clip off the tube because we're gonna need to reuse this one on the new tube. So now that we have everything disassembled, we're ready to start pre-assembling our new pusher charge tube. What I like to do is go ahead and set up my adapter with the coupler on it first. And so this is what's gonna go on the compressor outlet and allow you to adapt to that conventional hose bead shape here and allow you to basically go to a silicone coupler. So this is gonna go on the turbo. I'm gonna put a coupler on it. Kind of, I like to set the turbo adapter like that and I'll set my logo upside down and push it on. I'm also gonna align that logo pretty much right with one of the slots for the C-clamp. I like using silicone spray. This stuff here is your basic stuff from like Home Depot. Um, it's not PB Blaster, WD-40. You do not want to use petroleum based stuff, you want to use silicone based stuff. And you really can be pretty liberal with it. It's not going to impact the ability of these couplers to stay on where they're supposed to. Our couplers are very heavy duty, which makes them not as flexible and floppy as the factory stuff. So this spray really helps them slide together well. Again, I'm gonna align that logo with that slot right there. And now I'm gonna push it down to pretty much right about that first line right there. And go ahead and put a clamp on. I'm actually gonna put a clamp on to where the T-bolt is pretty much 180 degrees from that slot there. And we can pretty much go ahead and tighten that guy all the way down because it's gonna slide in under the intake manifold it's pretty hard to get to. If you ever need to disassemble this thing, you'll actually take the clamp I'm gonna put on here later off and you can get the whole thing apart, pop the C-clamp off and pull this whole assembly off at that time if you need to ever take this back apart. Let's go ahead and tighten this guy. Next up, we can put our O-ring in. This guy's just gonna go in the groove inside the adapter. Pretty easy, a little hard to do upside down. 
and backwards with a camera filming you, but just drop that guy in there. I'm definitely going to use some silicone spray on that when I'm ready to put that on and put some on the um, turbo outlet. And we got our C-clip. That slot I lined the logo with. I'm going to put the little dip in the clamp in that slot. I'll set that guy in place. You'll see later when I go to push this on, this clamp will expand and then fall in the groove once it gets lined up. So that guy's ready to go. I like to go ahead and put it on the inlet of the uh, charge tube. Our charge tube has kind of two straight sections on it on either end. Our longer straight section is what's going to go on the turbo side. So we can go ahead and get this guy on there. And we can also kind of line that logo up. If you were to lay this thing down the way it was on the table like this, the outlet end's kind of tilting up. Our logo's kind of aligned with the top of the tube here as well. And then slide a clamp on. This clamp is going to go on in the same orientation, but we'll probably rotate this up a little bit so we can get a wrench to it easily. And then our last coupler is going to go on the other end. I'm going to line that coupler up pretty much the same way the other one was, like this, where your logos are lined up and they're both kind of the same general area. I'm going to leave this hanging off the end about, I don't know, about half an inch to an inch or so, and then once we get this in place, we'll be able to slide this off onto the intercooler. So let's go set this thing in place. Okay, so now we're gonna get this guy fit in here and kind of set up on the turbo. And I wanna get this thing really aligned with the compressor outlet. So I'm gonna set the charge tube kind of down in place where it goes so that my O-ring connection, all that is really nice and aligned with the compressor outlet. So once you get down in that area, you should be able to push this guy on the turbo and you'll see that C-clip slowly expand and then just uh, snap down into the groove. So we know that thing's seated really good. And then you probably, by pushing that on, you probably pushed your tube against the adapter. You wanna pull it out a little bit. You can kind of feel between the two humps and make sure you have about a half inch gap or whatever. Just gives you that flexibility uh, for the motor to torque and whatnot. And so now I'm totally aligned with my intercooler. Now I can slide this coupler off onto the intercooler and make sure my tube is pretty much centered up between both joints. Now I'll get my logo facing up so it looks cool. So I got a nice gap there between the ends of the tube a good gap there between the tube and the adapter and now I can just get all my clamps set in place and tighten down. A quick note on the clamps on the intercooler every part we make is different and the where I like to put the clamps is different on this particular joint I like to have both my T-bolts here kind of facing up there and so it's just a little tough to pre put them on the tube and slide them around while you're dealing with putting the tube in place so in this case I'll take the nut off and I'll just kind of wrap them around the tube and slide them into place. I feel like that's easier to deal with. And so that one's gonna come down here and connect to the intercooler. And the next one we're gonna set up in the exact same orientation. The only thing you wanna watch out for is that this wire harness track gets kind of close to the tube. So you just wanna make sure that you put your T-bolt in the right spot to where you have clearance between it and the track. But then you can still get to it really easily with a socket and ratchet or the little quarter inch impacts I prefer to use for this type of stuff. So I'll rotate that guy down. So right about there is perfect. I got them both lined up. That looks really nice and clean. I got good clearance there to that wire track. So I can just come through and tighten all my clamps.
Last step, I always just like to go over my clamps, do a hand torque, make sure they're good and snug. Impacts are great for doing it fast, but just this gives me that feel of knowing everything's where it's supposed to be. So there you have it. Very simple install, as you can see, very minimal tools needed. We've fixed both of our charge tube issues with this truck by having our cold side done as well. We continually add info to the site, FAQs, things like that on these products. So if you have a question about something, go check that out, see if you can find the answer there. If not, we're here for you. Give us a call, shoot us an email, and thanks for watching.